Our next speaker is a good friend of mine, George Walker. He's been a photographer at the paper for more than a quarter of a century. He spans the gap from film to pixels. That's how old he is. Now, I don't know if you have that person that you've known a long time. You've known them socially, you've hung out with them, but you've, you know they have a job, but you never really have seen them do their job. And that one time you spend time with them in the workplace, you walk away with a renewed appreciation for what they do. It's kind of like, wow, you really kind of do know what you're doing. That's, that's cool. Well, George, I've been out on assignment with George many, many times. He's a great photographer. He has a great eye. A, a great photojournalist knows how to capture the images that you need to help tell your story. But one time, I got to be George's on-field assistant. Those are the guys who get the camera card and have to run it back in, no matter where you are on the field, down through the tunnel, halfway around the stadium underneath to a room, hand it off to this photo editor, get another card for him to put back in his camera, run back in. You do that every time you score. And this was the Jacksonville game last year. George, what was the score of that game? I don't know. I was <laughs> coughing up blood. I'd been running so much. But to see what a sports photographer does on the field during an NFL game, preparation, the athleticism, the amount of equipment he has to carry up and down, is, and to know, intuitively know the game and know where to be is, is an art. And that's why George's photographs are some of the best in the business. Ladies and gentlemen, George Walker. Thank you, thank you. By the way, the score was 42 to 39 of that Jacksonville game last year. So thank you, Mike Keith, for the, for the uh, <laughs> because I, I certainly couldn't remember. But anyway, so we go back to January 8th, right? 2000, and it's the first playoff game ever in Nashville, is it not? Ever, ever, ever. And so the game was at 11.30. Now I usually get to games a couple hours early. You know, I get to the stadium, got my gear, got all my stuff, I've got a 400 millimeter lens, it's about like this big, and then like another lens, it's, you know, medium telephoto and some other wide angle lenses and all that kind of other stuff that I carry with. But I get there a little extra, a little extra early because it's a little, this game's a little extra special. And so I'm there probably 9 o'clock, 9.30, I mean, excuse me, 9 o'clock, 8.30, somewhere in there. A little before, you know, and I, and I usually get to the stadium and I go around and kind of get my head right. Because I, I, I'm, you know, Carrying all this stuff, but I, I but covering these games, I kind of um, I get in my game face. Not quite like a player, but you know I'm carrying enough stuff, more stuff than they are. They just wearing shoulder pads and helmet, and I'm carrying 40 pounds, <laughs> 40 pounds of camera gear with me. Um, and so I'm there early, and I'm walking the field. I, I do a lap around the field. So you look at your tables that are in front of you. The, that that shape is almost the shape of the field. And I, I do a few laps around the field and, and get my mind right and figure out what I'm going to do, how, where I might be uh, for a different picture or, or something else that might be going on in the field, thinking about how the game might go. Well, this game didn't go very well. I mean, it wasn't pretty. It was cold. You know, it was, a, it was I think Eddie George ran for 100 yards. Um, you know, there was what? It was 12 to nothing at half. Um, and then later in the game, you know, uh, Buffalo comes back and gets close. And so, and then when they kick that, you know, that field goal, I'm like, it's over. This game is over. We all thought this game was over. And so as you're looking at the field, that, like where you are on the ends, I'm, I'm like pointing my lens towards the bench. And I'm watching Eddie, Steve, other players, and they're just down. They are just flat out down. I mean, like their heads are down. They're not even thinking. It was like, this game's over. I'm thinking, man, I'm getting my 1A picture. I'm getting my 1A picture. The Titans have lost. I've got my 1A picture here. And then all of a sudden, I see Eddie just go like this. And I see Steve. His, his eyes go up. And, all this, and I'm like, what is going on? I have no idea that the miracle is going on behind me. <laughs> I have no idea. 
I'm, I'm in the position on the field, where I was on the, on the field, I was in the position to get the handoff from Loneal and the, and the throw from Frank and as, as Dyson would take off down the field. I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. This is the one thing I'm supposed to get, right? I'm supposed to be there for the play. I'm supposed to get, you know, covered as it happens. I missed it. Luckily, we had three or four other photographers there that day. But I thought I was the guy. <laughs> so, but, so then, so now I'm scrambling. What am I going to do? I missed the play. I, you know, the Titans have now have, have pretty much won the game and they're going under the, to review. You know, the, ref, the referees are checking it out. They're making sure that this, this actually happened. And so I'm like, what am I gonna do? So now I'm watching the sideline again. I'm watching the bench. And I find, you know, Javon, which is pretty cool, because he and I had established a relationship early in the year. You know, I'd shot some portraits of him, so I'm kind of close with him. So you guys see the front page there. Those aren't my pictures. <laughs> As you're looking at those, at those two things. So I knew, you know, Javon is always demonstrative, is always, you know, exuberant or whatever when, when, when things are happening. So as soon as they announced that the play was good, Javon leaps in the air just like he is there. And that became my Titans cover. So I was like, thank you. I got something. Because <laughs> after we shot, I had to go back into the room where we were editing, editing our stuff and admit, it's like, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> We were, we were scrambling, we were asking all over the place, and that, see, we got the AP photos there. And, but the place was electric. You guys remember? I mean, the, the, the whole stadium was, was amazing. So, it's unbelievable. I got the, that's the picture I came up with. Thank you very much. <laughs>